Well, hello, football fans, and welcome to this edition of the Randall Mill Pharmacy Billy Skinner Coaches Show. I'm Bill Frawley, and with me, of course, as always, Lamar High School Athletic Director and Head Football Coach Billy Skinner. Coach, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. It's Monday. It's a little bit nor uh, later than we normally meet, but uh, uh, excited to see you, excited to get going. Man, it's always good to see you too. And hey, I want to say thanks for the opportunity to deliver the devotional on uh it was, it was Friday. No, it was Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> Thursday, man, before the varsity game. So thank you a lot for that opportunity. I love all those guys. And uh, man, they just, everyone, it means a lot to me and the whole program does. So thanks again. Well, we appreciate you sharing the message. And when you, uh, when you got up and you talked about focus and the refocus, all of them kind of, wait, that's what we're talking about. This how week, did so. he know? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for the little inside yeah. information. So, coach. I appreciate yeah. your time today. Uh, you bet anytime. Well, hey, um, look, there was a, a, a rough second half on Friday night. Don't need to need to belabor it. But I got to say, it started off with a bang with Gannon Carey making something special happen with, I think it was an 82 yard touchdown run. Yeah. And man, you talk about a guy that uh, he's he's figuring out ways to make things happen all the time. Yeah, indeed. And so he's one that we put in um, our Titan vest. And they have GPS trackers on them. And so you see how fast these kids are moving and how fast they're running. And um, well, if the school zone light was on, Gannon would have an opportunity to get a uh, get a ticket because he was just <laughs> over 20 miles per hour. Uh, wow. So he was yeah, he was moving. And um, it's a lot of fun to see him get loose. And I know a lot of people will. Uh, he catches people by surprise with how fast he is. <laughs> I know I, I my think, wife said, wait, was that, was that Gannon running like that? I was like, yeah, man, he can run. <laughs> well, and I wish we could see through the face mask of the defenders because I know what you mean. Some yep. of those guys were like turning their head like, what just went by me? Did he yep. have the football? <laughs> so, well, yep. great start. Some things just didn't finish out as y'all had had planned. So just say what you do want to say about the game on Friday. Yeah, no, it it's it's frustrating because it was a, a lot of the same as the the week before where um you would get something going and then we'd shoot ourselves in the foot a lot of self-inflicted issues um whether it be on special team penalties whether it be us uh withholding penalties offensively or or putting the ball on the ground offensively or missing tackles just um the things that you have to do to win a football game. And it's hard. And like I said before, it's the boring stuff and, and we have to continue to grow and develop in the boring parts of football. And that's, that happens today whenever we're out at practice and we're doing our fundamental circuit. Um, it seems repetitive and it seems like, okay, this is a checklist item. Well, we can't, we can't checklist these things. We've got to make sure as we're doing them, um, we're doing them intentionally so that, they show up on Friday night because they've shown up on Friday night. They just haven't shown up in a positive fashion. So um, really is it's how can the Vikes get out of the Vikes way? I think um, offensively, defensively and specials this week, we're going to keep it very simple. Uh, we've got a, a good plan in place to where the focus is playing fast. The focus is taking care of your job, doing it as clean as possible and giving ourselves the best opportunity to have success. Gotcha. Well, that all makes sense. And hey, no one wants to really be on the short end of the scoreboard ever, but at least that's what we might call the first season. It's the non-district games. It's where yeah. you find out the mistakes, time yeah. to improve and and, uh, and visuals on what to fine tune and improve and everything. So this week, y'all play the Arlington Colts and correct me if I'm mistaken, but that game has been moved from Choctaw to Cravens. Is that correct? So we've got Martin this week. Uh, Martin, I'm sorry. Yes, My that's bad. all right. That's all right. That was a you're, test. You're little... That was a test. Yeah. And you passed. There you go. I was ready to go. Yeah. I was like, oh <laughs> yeah. crap. I hope we're not playing the Colts. <laughs> that's, twice I've, that's twice I've done that to you, and I apologize. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, making yeah. sure I'm studying the right team. I appreciate that. <laughs> <There you laughs> gave anything I can do to help the program. But anyway, yes, yes so, you're playing the Martin Warriors, and it will be a visiting game for Lamar. Correct. That's correct. So we're going to play them. We were originally scheduled for Choctaw. It's been moved here to Cravens. So okay. uh, the Lamar Vikings will be on the visiting side. We'll do all of the visitor stuff this week. Um, and and we're going to play a, a home visitor game. 
<laughs> well, hopefully we have as many fans on that visitor side as Martin brings over on quote their home side. So, sure. it, I mean, it's got to be special. I mean, it's cool to play at Choctaw, but how special to basically get another home game at your facility. You're still going to warm up in the Mac. You still got yeah. the locker rooms, right? I mean, yeah. So it'll be a little bit different. Uh, we will warm up in the Mac and then we're going to actually go. Um, we, we house our, our, all the teams we host, we house them in the tennis area, which it's a little bit of a hike to the field, but at the same time, I like keeping the kids separate. So, um, yeah. we do that for, for any visiting team. So we're going to be the visiting team and we're going to, we're going to home out of there and it'll be fine. We're, uh, we're actually excited about it and, and moving around. We'll come through where we used to come through. Um, okay. when I played here and when I first started coaching here, we came through those gates and, and that was special. So it'll be really cool to, to walk through those gates again uh with this team okay cool now i don't know if you want to share because maybe it's a surprise but it was really cool to see the blackout uniforms last week and we were having some fun up in the booth hey that looks like some old pittsburgh pirate Pittsburgh, <laughs> you know and man that just that was really impressive are you going back to a traditional or what's the uh, uniform of the day this friday if you want to share yeah well we're gonna go a little more traditional i don't want to spoil it for anybody okay but cool it's, it's the lamar viking that you're used to seeing uh, I, I'm a big fan of City Connect, the thing that's going on in, in, in the MLB and the thing that's going on in NBA where they have different alternative uh, jerseys and alternate uniforms. And I, I think it's important for branding and marketing and all of those things that that we do those things. So uh, the black uniforms were that was a cool way to to kind of uh, have that splash, that that cool new uh, something. Um, but you can never replace the beautiful blue and gold navy and gold and so you know we'll never try to replace the navy and gold i'm excited <laughs> to be back in it uh this this friday exactly just supplementing with some extra kind of cool stuff that's, that's right. it yep so so i've been looking at some of the scores martin has had the first two of the games they played some tough teams they've yep. come up on the short end a little bit what do you expect to see out of them uh this week is it's the traditional martin offense have they done yep. anything differently you're aware of so they're, um, man, they, they do a great job of getting the ball to their players in multiple different ways. Uh, they've got a quarterback slash receiver slash kick returner slash punt returner <laughs> slash punter slash holder. I mean, the kid does everything. Number three is, um, I think he was the offensive player of the year of our district last year. And uh, I think that he is a kid that just, he's extremely special with the ball in his hands and they do a good job of of getting him the ball uh, on defense. They're, they're very aggressive. Um, they're, they're going to line up and say, Hey, we're going to stop the run and, and you're going to have to try to get the ball over the top. And they've got long corners that uh, make that difficult. So um, they bring a, a, a definite challenge to the table. Um, they've played some really good teams, um, but I'm excited. I'm excited for, for the opportunity to play them. I'm excited for the opportunity for our guys to, to open up district with, with the top dogs because they, they are until somebody knocks them off and uh, we're excited to, uh, to meet them on Friday. How important is it going back to the, I'm going to go back to the, win the day, win the game, yep. win the drive, win the down, how important is it? And is that something y'all still talk about or am I talking about an antiquated slogan? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We talk about it all the time. <laughs> all I've got the, it on the shirt. Okay. Win the day. And that, that is the, uh, that's the cornerstone. I mean, that's who I want us to be fundamentally. Um, and it's so easy to look ahead. It's so easy to think playoffs and this and that, and, we, and you can't do that. So you actually caught me and you always catch me on my favorite day of the week. And that's Monday. And that's my favorite week of the day is today. Um, and, and that gives us an opportunity to really hone in on those things that we were talking about and to hone in on um, who we are as a program. So, Yes, we still discuss when the day and what that looks like today for us is is beating practice and then beating the classroom and then beating practice and beating the classroom and all of those things. So, um, yes, we still we still want to win the day. And one down at a time, one drive at a time and everything. Right. That's and, it. And 
just in case anyone thinks that was set up, I did not know what <laughs> shirt you, we don't really script this out ahead no. of time. Uh -uh. That's how just genuine this is. So <laughs> thank you ever again for however that worked out to have that yeah. shirt on when I asked that question. <laughs> That's a good call. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Well, it's, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. So, no all right. Well, coach, so uh, sub varsity type stuff, the uh, junior varsity will be away on Thursday then. Is that correct? And freshman? No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, yeah. JV will be home because yes. it's an away game. Freshmen yes. will be playing over at Martin. So JV How does will that work. Yeah. Yeah. JV will be here at home. Uh, we've got two games. We've got the gold game, which kicks off at 5 30, and we've got the Navy game, which kicks off at seven. The okay. freshmen will play at Workman Junior High. Uh, okay. and they play at Workman because Martin's currently under construction. So the uh, gold game kicks off at 5.30. Navy will kick off at 7 o'clock for the freshmen there at Workman. And then, obviously, Friday night we'll be here uh, as the visitor <laughs> at 7 p.m. against Martin. So, so looking into the sun. Get your the brain wrapped around all that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that, thank you for straightening. And I won't try to repeat it lest I should screw it up. <laughs> you said it. You had it right. And it'll be on the website, I'm sure, also. Yep. Well, uh, you know, once again, the Booster Club is doing some great stuff. And, man, I, I see those people. I don't think people understand how much effort the Booster Club members. I see JR pulling wagons and stuff. I see Mr. Austin pulling stuff around. I see other people doing a lot of laborious yeah. type things yep. and they can always use some more help i'm sure no doubt and i'm actually i'm going to put out a uh, survey on our sports you and I'll, I'll put it out here for any parents that watch the show um we're going to have some board seats that come open in, in february and as much as it, it pains me to even talk about it because i i tell all of our senior families i tell the carries and i tell uh tabitha reina and Lori ford like hey no you guys cannot leave us y'all are going to be with us forever but uh <laughs> that's not the case so uh, we're going to have some open spots and um, our next board meeting, we want to call some of those people who might be interested in joining our board uh, to come join that meeting and they can kind of see what the inside looks like and uh, how our plans come together. And we just had that meeting yesterday um, as our as our board. And it's always a good time. You know, I kind of give them the, the insights and things that are going on in the program and they uh, bring their their thoughts and their concerns and, and I bring my thoughts and our, my concerns and we just it really is a great partnership um, and so we're, we're looking for a few people to to join that group and and have it lined up to where this thing keeps rolling and when I've mentioned it's laborious and there's hard work, I didn't want to scare anybody off. <laughs> yeah, quit scaring there's, people off. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, come on, Frawley, get it right. You can be uh, replaced. But uh, um, but basically, it's uh, the more people get involved, the less there is for each person to do. That's and it. again, it just makes for the best program around. And it builds such camaraderie among the parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, caregivers, whoever it is that has a, a young man in the program. It does. And it's cool to see those relationships grow throughout those years. You know, I've, I've seen uh, these families that are with us right now and just to kind of watch those relationships build uh, in real time is really neat. And then for me, it gives me an opportunity to get them get to know uh, parents and members on our board a little bit more closely because we do. We spend a lot of time together. We spend time um, away from the kids here together and, and, and making a plan for this to be as good as we can make it. So um, it, it's it's hard work, but it's also a really cool kind of sneak peek and inside look as to what it takes to make a high school program go. So um, definitely looking for folks and people want to do it. I, I, I tell you that. <laughs> and, and still looking for cases of 20 ounce bottles of sports drinks. I'm Always saying. looking for cases of 20 <laughs> ounce bottles of sports drink. We, uh, we will, we'll take whatever you want to give, whether it's, it's Gatorade or, or, store brand doesn't matter to us yeah. I, I tell you i prefer i prefer the uh the signature brand um it's just <laughs> i don't know I, it tastes weird <laughs> well you know gatorade was invented at the university of florida the gators yep 
and my Texas Aggies beat the Gators uh, pretty handily on Saturday. I just thought I'd find a way to throw that in. There, there. we go. <laughs> we'll call it Aggie A from now on. There, oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, I like that. Okay. All right. Well, Coach, is there anything else? Oh, you know, one thing I did want to mention that we talked about in the booth on the broadcast. I've had so much fun watching the junior varsity and freshman games that I've been able to announce so far. There's some, there are some up and comers on those there's, teams. There's some good football. Oh there are some really good football. I tell you, and I'm glad you brought that up because um, our freshman Navy team, they played Mesquite Horn last week. And that Mesquite Horn team looked like they had kids that could have lined up on, on varsity. And I'm not saying that in jest. I mean it. They have some kids that ran yeah. – they look big. They did this. They did that. And and our dudes didn't bat an eye. I mean, they were uh, – they knew it was going to be a defensive battle. They knew it was going to be a struggle. And they fought. They fought for one another. Uh, there would be a mistake, and kids would be there to pick each other up. Jaden Suarez, who's playing quarterback for that group, throws an interception. He stands up. He's like, guys, that's on me. Let's go. And And that's a fun group. It is a really <laughs> – it's really cool to see how far they've come and – um, no, I, I, I'm with you there. It's a blast to watch those kids get after it. Definitely. So, well, I'm looking forward to that Thursday night at Cravens, but especially Friday night coach, anything else sure. to add before we sign off this week? I'm, uh, I've got nothing. I'm getting my mind right. We're getting ready to practice. So <laughs> I'm excited to get going. Sounds great. Well, until next time, I'm Bill Frawley with Lamar athletic director and head football coach, Billy Skinner saying VFND. VFND.